Hi guys, Captain Tiger Lily here, and we are back with more of Control. We're going to attempt to go through the foundation today. I I hope we can do this. It's scary down here, guys, okay? <laughs> it's really scary. I don't like it, and that's a big map, okay? Like, it's a big map. But anyway, before we jump into more of the foundation, hit the like button down below. If at any point in the video you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. That way you guys get new videos from me. You get more of them. And I really hope nobody jumps out at me while I'm trying to talk here because I'll like it. And hit the notification bell. That way you guys know when new videos go live. Also, share the video around anybody you think might enjoy watching me play through Control and other such games in the future. Let's go. Okay, I don't like that noises. I am uncomfortable. Are they gonna come back? I really don't want them to come back. The creepy fast dudes? I don't want that. Don't come back, please. Okay. Can I land on top? Oh, I didn't see this here last time. <clears throat> Thank you. Anything else? No. Okay. Why? Toxic gases. Fantastic. Why, why, why do we have toxic gases? I don't like this. Let's not do that. Okay, I don't see anything else that looks like a I would like you to stop if it's all the same to you guys. I don't like that I can't see where I'm going half the time because of the lighting. That makes me uncomfortable. Like, it really does. And, like, all the lighting areas, I feel like I need to avoid them. Ooh. A thing. We gonna read it. <laughs> What was my new mod thing? Okay. Uh, energy recovery speed. I have a 47. I don't need a 34. I don't. I just don't. Okay. Missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done any of the other ones yet. I did try to do more of the pit off screen and it didn't. It didn't go well. I don't want to talk about it. I really don't. <laughs> Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. Do you remember that Robert Ricardo fellow that we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls. Oh no. Why is it eyes? This is gross. And a strange black pillar in the center. Kinda looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventures exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contract contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony, Marcus. Marcus, you are correct. Marcus Talbot, you are correct. Oh my god. I mean, I'm uncomfortable in here and I'm supposed to be in here. What is this lighting? Okay, so. What else we got? What was that? Was that an asset? Shifting fragment. Oh, I 
feel like that was something I needed for an upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna float a little. Because I don't like this. Oh, what the fuck? The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. Okay. This happened in the upper floors. It'll destroy the bureau. Yeah. Yeah, it probably would. Most likely. I don't like Mr. Swirly Pants being over here. Go ahead. this. Oh! <laughs> no. Are you going to make me walk back through all that again? I don't really want to. I don't like this room. <laughs> Guys, I don't like it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, guys. Take two. But uh, real quick, I wanted to check Hold on. I don't know why that kept doing that, but. Okay, let me check the map here real quick. So, cave bleed. There's a whole other cave thing off to the side up there that I'm probably gonna have to go to. There's a lot of other stuff. Let's just do one of those. Come on. I want you dead. Okay, that'll do. Ooh, look at all damn goodies. Okay, let's go up here. And we gotta go in that cave over there. But I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. <laughs> It makes me uncomfy. Okay, I don't want to add that one. I just, I don't. I really don't. Okay. Do you have better monster? What is that? Ammo recovery on taking explosive damage. I'd like to avoid all explosive damage if it's all the same to everybody else. 
<laughs> well, that's only a 34. Why do I have that? I don't need that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm a mess today, guys. It's fine. Okay. Uh, astral copy. Okay. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential paratilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It's important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. Interesting. Excellent observations, Emily. This is why we made you head of research, because you're fantastic. Okay, I guess we gotta go over there. I don't really think I can get up there right now. Okay, we're gonna go to this. Okay. Okay, I, I should be able to get over, over from all the way. I'm gonna get a little bit of a running start. I wish I'd brought Emily with me. Me too! I could really use my head of research right about now. What is it, Polaris? What are you telling me? I can't see shit, Polaris. Give me some light. Marshall? Marshall! The fuck? I don't think she's alive. I don't know that she's alive, Jesse. Marshall? I keep leaning forward because I, like, can't see where I'm going. Whoa. This place is Fuck huge. you. Marshall? Is Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Well, do we have a... Do we have a safe spot? <laughs> we don't. Oh, no. Well, I'm going in the building. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, thank... Oh, the gods. Oh, the gaming gods. Let's claim this point. Yeah. Guys, I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, goodies. Yes, please. Headshot boost, okay. I don't see anything in here, like, information-wise, so let's go to the other one. Okay. It's been five days. Okay. And then nothing on the projector, so. Okay. Let's, let's look at the stuff. We did get a mod. Uh... Ooh. That's a better one. That is a better one than I had. I like that. That's good things. More of those, please. <laughs> I said what I said. Don't you worry about it. Multimedia. The foundation. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting. But we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable. Okay. Which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. Uh oh. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. The surface weapon. Like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, 
calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for North more than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. So the Foundation and the board gave Northmore the service weapon and chose him as the first, like, officially chosen director. And now everybody thinks he's going to be losing it because no one else knows what the board is at that point. Oh my god. So much happening. So much. Okay, my thing is... Do I want to do that? Or do I want to try and see if there's, like... Other things over here. Like, I don't see anything. But I feel like we're also gonna have to go up there, but... Uh. Ooh. There is a goodie down here. Uh, not on top, Jesse. What are you doing? Okay, what do we got? Ley lines. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they all have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that. But this seems wrong. Oh, excuse me. The esoteric world of Boar's coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act like a magnet, attracting them, polar north? Or is this the pillar, or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? A sprout nourished by a constant flow of the oldest house's power. Perhaps classifying that power would prove, or would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner, which I would assume is how you say that, or Wagner, but for me, if you're going to name him Gustav, that W is going to be a V, okay? <laughs> From headquarters in DC to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's hope this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is, it is German. Let's hope this Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Okay. Uh, Theodore Ash, head of research, by order of Broderick Northmore. That's still one hell of a name. And I kind of love it. There's something over there, too. Oh, God. Okay. I see what that is. Das Nowhere. Again. Okay. The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Tradia wrote that archi that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But, when but why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. Oh, that's an interesting thought. What if it's not supposed to be here, like, originally? And it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of an intrusion. I did want to see it here. If I had, okay, I just need more source to upgrade the charge, which is fine. Um, uh, what was it I needed more of? Uh, I needed more corrupted samples and I can make that one. Uh, okay. So I still need shaded facets, which I don't know where to find those. I still can't remember. Hold on. Let me check my list. Maybe then I can figure it out. Okay. So all of those are going to be investigation sector. Of course they are. So any new mods for me to create, 
requires something other than this one requires something from the investigation sector, both the shaded facets and the confiscated motives. So that's going to be when we do the Alan Wake DLC. I know that's not what it's actually called. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, do I want to tackle this today? Do I want to do that today? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I don't think I want to do that today. So I'm going to leave us here in the foundation. And in the next episode, I know that these last couple have been kind of short. In the next episode, hopefully we can jump in and get a decent chunk of the foundation DLC done. I don't know. But we're going to leave this here and we're going to jump in in the next episode. I'm on edge down here the entire friggin' time. Okay. Like I'm completely on edge. So <laughs> this is a lot happening right now. Like, I don't know if it's just that the area itself is giving off noises that I'm not used to hearing in the main building. But, like, this whole thing, the dust kicking up, the atmosphere, like, everything about this screams, get the fuck out. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like it. I'm uncomfortable. So, I'm gonna not push my discomfort to the level of I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so... I'm going to leave this episode here, and if you guys are liking watching me play through Control, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me in the future, and you want to help me hit uh, the monetization mark, which is the thousand subscribers, because we ain't there yet. We are not. I want to be, but we not. <laughs> and hit the notification bell, that way you guys know when videos go live. Did I say notification? I might have. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Don't forget to share the videos around to anybody you think might enjoy watching me play through Control and at the moment Paleo Pines and Potion Craft. And I'm going to leave the full playlist for Control down below me on the screen if you guys want to check out everything that's happened up to this point and how we got to the foundation. We've had a lot happen. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to leave the link to the game down in the description if you guys want to play this for yourselves. I would highly suggest it. This game has been phenomenal to play overall. I've been working a lot on um, kind of a script overall for kind of my thoughts for Control as a game, like as a whole, as I've been playing through more and since this is all done. So that's going to I'm going to put that out as soon as I'm done with the two DLCs, uh, both the Foundation and the AWE DLC. So anyway, that being said, I'm Captain Tiger Lily and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.